Okay, I'm going to show you a couple things on Steve Vishdahl's channel. So I'm going to check his channel out. If you, ha if you don't yet, you can learn a lot from watching his videos. The Facts by HowToHunt.com On YouTube, The Facts by HowToHunt.com <coughs> Okay, this one right here. Listen to this terrified hunter from Florida. Like this is red. Is the title. I have a story, but I'm more interested in answers. If you could help me with any. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Steve. My name is Nathaniel, and I'm sorry for the length of the email. I know you're very busy and probably won't have time for me. But I'm writing you because, like everyone else, that does, I have had multiple encounters with these nasty efforts. But the email will be long, and it's not even everything. After the last one, I'm terrified to go back in the woods, and that's just not like me. There we go. Oh, I'm just so coming up here. Do I know who this is? Nope. Have I read this? Nope. So let me start this off by saying that I'm sorry for the length of this email, and it's fine if you don't believe me. It's hard to explain what happened in these woods, and honestly, I truly don't understand it. I'm having a hard time dealing with this occurrence, with these occurrences, God, stop. and it has put an intense fear in me that was not there before. I'm calling them occurrences because I did not physically see the source of them. Now I've been an avid outdoorsman all my life. I love hiking, hunting, and fishing. <clears throat> I love nature, spotting wildlife, and even listening to the sounds they make, either while hunting, fishing, or just hiking. It's always brought me peace, and I've always felt extremely comfortable in the woods. I've lived in Florida for around 20 years, but I actually grew up in Springfield, Ohio, and the and the two other guys in the crew I worked with. But after these few occurrences, well, I can't shake them. I can't explain them away. They're not anything I've ever dealt with before, and none of my friends or family who I've told can explain it away. After that last one, I'm hesitant. Well, I'm being honest, I'm being right scared to go back to the woods to hunt or fish. All these have happened in the green swamp, WMA, all were during spring and turkey season over the course of a few years. The green swamp wildlife management area, the east track. I've been running a little late. That morning I picked a spot, I scouted it off Tannic Grave. Grab a shotgun out of the back seat. But Tannic Grade Road is where he was hunting that. Because of hogs and snakes. I've hunted that a lot off of that road. A lot. In on one of the many fire roads. I've had where um, when that went hunt, turkey hunting with me a couple times. And we went out there and walked an hour in the dark just to get set up before daylight to turkey hunt. And then call turkeys in on us and have gobblers gobbling around us. Found a place that seems perfect, straight ahead. As a decent field without a ton of palmettos. To the left, the dense. All right, so you can go onto his channel and watch that video and hear everything that he's saying. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pull something up here too, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why I'm showing this part right here too. All right, so I'm just trying to get this where you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna bring you over here and show you something. So you can go on myfwc.com. And go to things to do, and then go to um, the WMA brochures, and you can go to um, go through and, and find Green Swamp. All right, so this this is the main entrance over here, and then there's another entrance down here. But anyway, this this is called the main grade. And if you look at this on Google Maps, it calls this Tannic Grade Road. But actual Tannic Grade Road, it, it'll show you this is Tannic Grade Road as well. That and this, but this is the main grade going all the way through. So anyway, this is Tannic Grade up here. This is where the, the guy that's talking about turkey hunting and having the... Where he's talking about having all of his encounters. Alright. So this... <coughs> You can only go in through this, drive in through here, because um, it's got a lock gate. You can only drive in through there when it's open during hunting season. 
and you don't have to be hunting. You can drive in there and drive through when it's not hunting season. I mean when it's hunting season, but you are you don't have to be hunting. But anyway, um, both the gates are locked. Cool. And um, I have been in here walking on foot before, parking at the entrance and walking in and not seeing the first person in there. When it's when it's not hunting season and it's locked. But anyway, I want to um here soon. I'm gonna go in here. And I'm gonna take you in here with me. And we're gonna do some some research in here and looking around. And see what we can find. Because when I was hunting in there before in the past, I was not doing bigfoot research. So now I'm gonna take you in there. So go on to Steve Istall's channel and watch that video. <clears throat> and then here soon, like I said, I'm going to come in here and, and I'm going to take you up in here. Around where that guy had all his encounters. And I'm going to show you that. And then here's another BV road. I've hunted along through there too on that road. He said some of his encounters were there. But I've been in here. I've been in here and had some encounters. Um, since since hunting, but also I want to show you, I'm going to bring you in here and show you, and we'll do some research and do some stuff in there too, but I've, I've over the years I've hunted all in there, I've been all over in there hunting in there, over the years, but that's another thing I wanted to show you here, that's something I've got planned coming up, 